this this area here, like we're just in South Windsor now, this is the, the main um, shops uh, of South Windsor. This is, uh, you know, you get a really good yield in suburbs like South Windsor. You also, the good thing about South Windsor, there's a lot of um, land that's, uh, or uh, homes that are zoned R3, which means they have future, um, they could be potentially developed into townhouses and villas. And the R3 land, um, a lot of the blocks here in, in around the shopping centre or between the shops and the, the railway are, um, are um, R3 and they're also big blocks. The block sizes here, can you can get 1,000 square metre blocks still here in South Windsor, which is fantastic. That's the local IGA, Food Works in South Windsor. That's, um, those guys bought a house off me in Bly Park. Um, Nick that owns the... Um, the news agency there, he bought, um, he's bought two properties off us and uh, he, he's a really, really good guy. There's, yeah, there is good uh, takeaways all, all the way along this strip here in South Windsor. Hit prediction, I think South Windsor, with the, with the release of all this R3 land, it'll be like, it's sort of like what Riverston was 10 years ago. It's, it's still the sleeping giant. I think that there's um, so many uh, properties here in South Windsor lend themselves to subdivision development and uh, re, uh, you know um, villa townhouse development that um, it's it's only going to go especially when it's so close to the station and uh, I wouldn't mind betting that you would see some uh, some really big things happen here in South Windsor in the next you know 10 years so